they're alive. Um. Whoa, how are, how are there so many controllers all of a sudden? Are some of those into the PS2? PS2 controllers, oh. mostly. Okay. That, that makes more sense. Two controllers for the PS2 and two for the PS3. And there should be a second one for the 360, but I don't know where it is. Oh. Uh, the white one? I thought there was one over here, but... Well, anyway. It's not. It's somewhere. <clears throat> hmm. HD. That's the degree I want to get. Oh man, I got a I got an email from Ticketfly today. I haven't ordered from Ticketfly in years. It said, "Hello, thank you for purchasing VIP meet and greet passes for the Vienna Tang Show." And then they said it was a mistake. Is she hot? I, she has a fantastically large chin. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit larger than normal chin. And it's kind of a chin. It really dominates it's the face. Nice, it's a nice chin. Well, what does she sing? Oh, the meat she, and her style incorporates folk, pop, classical piano, and a cappella. So she's a singer, then? Yes. I can see why she might want to go by Vienna Tang. Her uh, original, her birth name is Cynthia Yishi. Yishi. Yi. Or Cynthia Ye Shi. Shi? I don't know. Y I H S H I H. And also, she's been in. No, never mind. Those are all. Albums. Sounds like you missed your chance. You could have gone to a Vienna Tang meet and greet. Well, then they sent me another one that said it, it was as important, apparently. It said, please disregard. You may have received an email in error. I um, wonder how widespread that was. Everyone can go to the Vienna Tang meet and greet. <laughs> As somebody who works for a company that sends emails like that, it's, um, you know, it's not easy sending lots of emails, and I always wonder, how's it going? How many people we got? 16, uh, let's start. <clears throat> yes. Start. Start. So uh, clearly, because we lack cloud, we have to go get it. That's the idea. But we don't really know how to do that. Oh. That was the problem. I... Oh, I don't know. Remember, last time we didn't know what to do, we went into a random house and they said, get the keystone from the golden saucer. And we're like, oh, that was weird. <clears throat> oh, someone actually, no. Someone last time in the chat said we had to go to Mount Gondor and do a, another oh, oh, right, defense right. mission. Uh, yes. Okay. So we'll do that. I remember we'll that. that. <clears throat> yeah, so last time it was breeding game, and this time it's, uh... And here oh, we are. right! <laughs> we put ourselves here to remind ourselves that. Uh, there was, like, another place we were supposed to go, but I don't know where it is. So we'll deal with that later. <clears throat> oh, you finally get to run around as, uh... Tifa! Wife, as wife of you. Tifa! Where am I? Now you play Simant for a while and turn on Interfic oh, Interface. Oh, I was way down the hole, apparently. She doesn't actually climb on the ladder, she's 
is next to it. Makes the climbing motion in the vicinity of the ladder. <clears throat> Let's use the beds. Oh, you actually can. I'm amazed. And again, you could in Shell World too. Mm -hmm. I had the it's Eris's own town or whatever crazy place that was. So much time elapses between when I ever knew anything about this game, whatever minor piece of information I had finally cleared up for myself is just gone. I don't know if that place with the shells was actually anyone's hometown. I think mm. it was just like something. Let's see if the shop inventory has changed. Ah, that's a sure sign that that's where you're supposed to be. <laughs> there are upgrades <laughs> in the shop. Smine. Oh, I see. Now we're down to seven characters. Nope. Same it's as it ever was. Death blow. That sounds cool. It's useless because it's like a random, you have a chance to do more damage. Oh. Well, that can be good. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't know what increases that chance. Mm. And... I mean, paying 10,000 for something that... I already might, have one. Might not do it. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Hello. Never mind. How goes it? It's to load the mini game now. Oh, I I thought that it that froze. It, yeah. Yeah. It did this last time too. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a. Lo Wait, can't you hit a button to make the line visible? I remember that. I think that's when that thing starts. Oh. Oh. No. Do you want to set units now? Yeah, I do. Uh, Aha! <sighs> oh, this guy costs 420. Regular units, no weaker opponents, and no stronger opponents. Hmm. So they revert to the. They revert to the um, other thing. You're supposed to be able to read. The fucking, like, strong against is on the left there. And it's some goddamn, like, pixel. Ah, it's monster. strong against shapes and <clears> weak against, against other shapes. Now, that thing on the right's definitely a bird or something, but the thing on the left could be anything. Uh, but regardless, I'd rather have. Stoner. <laughs> Why does this cost 420? You can roll a stone. <laughs> Can't move. I like my line of little dudes. Behind them, we will put up some defenders. Ah, chufty dude. He's big. And behind them, we'll put shooty dudes. Uh, can repair any any low power. You. This might be overkill, I'm not sure. 
I don't know what's good. Can set a bomb. That is what the that is what the man can do. Do you think that's enough guys? I think we can put more guys, like, <clears throat> eventually. Well, I, I don't know what your budget... My budget is as many... Is. I have money. So it says gill, 8,000. So that's just your regular gill? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. They need 3,000 per fight if you let them do it. Oh. So I well, think what? I've spent... Wait. Why did you... Give them money. I didn't know that it would, like, not contribute to this war fund. Oh. I know it. I, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just get on with it. Now I have to take the guy and move him. Move. You. Go. And you. Move. There. And you move. No. Go here. No. You just keep going here. <laughs> you play the you. laggiest game of Warcraft. It's not actually like laggy. It's pretty responsive. <clears throat> you move to this hole. You move to this hole. You move to this hole. My plan is flawless and cannot fail. And you just go there, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> well, speed is set to high, at least. It's oh, actually, no, medium it's set to medium. Medium. I don't know how to change it. Oh, there we go. I randomly pressed the button and it worked. Yeah. Two on one. Nice. Yeah, so they're weak against the flying guys. Mm. Who's, they're strong. This guy's strong against the flying guys.
sure are beating a lot of guys. There was guys though, like plenty. So do you have to uh, kill them all to win, or is there another objective? I don't even know. One poor fighter looks confused. This guy? Yeah. Zine Zero says it's killed them all. <clears throat> Working on it. So just give that one a little touch. Just in case it needs that. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I like the idea of can shoot from afar. Sounds pretty good. It's supposed to be good against the flying ones too, right? Yeah. yeah. There's the big man. Ooh. Commander. Commander. This Protoss warp gate's so good. It would be nice right now. Maximum speed. I appear to be handling it. Mm -hmm. I like how there's a log trap there that <laughs> apparently dies aside. Yeah, it's it. not like a real thing though, because. Yeah. It's a bit of background. You defend. And by defend, I mean attack the man. Well, this defense is a good offense. That's why we call him Defender. I think. I think he's just called a defender, but he doesn't defend, he's just like good against certain units. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my dude totally did it. Yeah, that guy's not good against the beast. No. Mm. Look at this tiny house. Can't put a unit up here. Mm. At least let you view it, though. Probably gonna kill your shooter. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Commander does not fart around. It's 
So really the question is less of whether or not you win, and more of how much money it is going to cost you to win. Seems that way. I don't see very much strategy in all of this, because like... Yeah. <clears throat> Try micromanaging this. Yeah, it has the veneer of tactical combat, you know, setting up little rock, paper, scissors chains. I might just let him get to the top and like fight him with my my party, because... Mm. What? Defenders. No, never mind. Oh. oh. It would be awesome if you could fight your own like defender guys. You're like build and a party them to fight or something. Them. Yeah, or and then when you get into the battle, they look exactly the same. They're just like <laughs> scaled up versions of those polygons. Or if it was like Peace Walker. Yes, build your own boss fight in that. Okay. Right. And um, <laughs> so we, were, we were told we had to do this. Someone said we did. Yeah. Did, maybe we have to like talk to someone else to get a quest for it first, and then there's a special different battle. I don't know. I talked to everyone in here. Mm. So the question remains. Oh, oh, the next thing we need to do is find Cloud. I also right. don't have any money left. Oh, we better get... <laughs> I kind of wasted a lot of it on building my party. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we need to find Cloud, but we have no idea how to do that, so... Mm. I mean, we have an airship. Yeah, so... We can go anywhere. Well, except that one place <clears throat> that you need to land in. Or... Yep. Whatever, but... That, that can't possibly be an important And place. we can't land on the, uh, these, this terrain. Oh, yep. No, too, too jagged. The ship was made to land in grassy fields only. No, I can't land on the Midgar Zalong. Wanna fight it? You wanna fight it? Sure. Kick you, its ass. You still have a, you have a backup cloud. Midgar Salam was one of the grinding points, apparently, because it was that you could you could set up a regenerative system so that your guys like are constantly getting health back or absorb fire or whatever, and you just set up the auto attack to beat the Midgar Salam and leave the controller down overnight because they'll come oh. find you. That's the limitation of my actual knowledge about this game. <clears throat> well, it's fine. Oh yeah, don't throw the lance at the enemy. Just throw it into the air. He's like, yo, check out this cool trick. The number appeared way above that because uh, you know, because his snake head is all the way up there. Yeah, the numbers have been appearing on mm. the top. Of them. I think that's okay. what happened. You don't need to know every number that you make. I'm just mildly curious. I'd like to see <laughs> a number from an attack that I yeah. do. Subsequent attacks, not so... I don't care. Well, that was not much experience or anything. Let's just leave. Fuck you. Just buzz the tower there. <laughs> Fuck him. Where the fuck do I go? 
My only tiny bit of speculation was there's got to be some place that you can only fly to. Like this forest with... Along with Cloud's disappearance, we also got the high wind. Or... Wait, is this the high wind? Yes, I think. What's the other thing, the high wind? Uh, did, Sid just, did Sid just call this the high wind instead? He's like, you know what? My ship, goddammit. Call it what I want. Is this the place that has the guys that drop tents? Was that even this game? No, that was Final Fantasy V. Oh, goddammit. And that was <clears throat> a, uh, a segment of the game where you were trapped on a little island and could go nowhere. And when you finally rested in a tent, that was when the game carried on. So you were dropped tents from all so, of them. Yeah, yeah but the, the only enemy you could encounter was a kind of son of a bitch who would drain your MP and he would always drop a tent. If you dicker around on that island for too long, there is a sub cutscene where one of the characters suggests you use a tent. Hmm. It's like, man, we're tired. <clears throat> I actually got that. <laughs> no, that, that happened. Excellent. I want to get Goblin Punch. Oh. Silent. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. That's a Blitzball maneuver. Ah. There is your Goblin Punch. In most of the games I'm familiar with, Goblin Punch deals sort of normal damage most of the time, and if it if you attack a target who has the same level as you, it does an absurd amount of damage. It's something like that. Something like eight times. Well, it's mostly just garbage, no matter what. Yeah. You, what level of damage you're doing. <clears throat> there is a move in Final Fantasy VI that works under the same principle. It's simply called Stone. You throw a little rock at them. <laughs> the only, the only time this really comes up is when you either confuse an enemy who can use it on themselves, or what, your guy who can use it gets confused and uses it on himself. This almost always results in being murdered. What is this? Uh, I don't know. Um, hello. Is that a frog? Maybe it's one of those, like, frog toys where you can, oh. like, rub the back and it makes a frog noise, you know? You know the kind that's, like, wood and it has the little stick that you rub and it No, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, they had some at the Lucky Frog. I don't properly know what those things are called. But anyway, it's just a small wooden statue, and there's a, like, spined ridge along the back. Okay. And when you rub the stick along <coughs> the ridge, it makes the oh. statue make a croaking noise. I have not seen those. It's kind of cute. Or it could be like the little stupid frog things from Metal Gear Solid 3. We had to find them all, and they go... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They were from a game, though. <clears throat> that was from another game. Oh. Of course there are game cameos in that game, right? Was... Why did I believe that that was anything else? It was a Kojima game from, like, forever ago. All these stores have way happier music than they should. Because someone's running around like an idiot in there. Oh, lord. Ah, the good morning cannon. <clears throat> then the Winchester. Crystal cross, crystal cone, crystal sword, I'm sensing a crystal glove, I'm sensing mm. a pattern here. Oh, they sell swords. That's cute. That, that makes me wistful for our fallen party member. Doesn't make me anything. <laughs> Wait, wizard bracelet? The wizard bracelet.